The opinions expressed on this program are those of the participants and do not necessarily reflect those of Cable 14, its sponsors or its shareholders, Kojiko Cable, Shaw Cable and Source Cable Limited. Welcome to Persistence Pays. Have you ever had someone do something for you that you're like, wow, why did they do that? Or have you ever done something for someone else that you just felt like doing a random act of kindness? Well, today's show is all about paying it forward. Paying it forward and doing one random act of kindness to really make a difference in the world. And today my guest is Terry Vickers Craig and we're going to talk to you about the Pay It Forward movement and how it's working throughout the world in over 124 countries. And here in Hamilton, it's working in our own city, and you'll see that as the show progresses. So Terry, thanks so much for being here today, and I'm really looking forward to talking to you about how Pay It Forward has come to be a big part of your life. It has. Uh, thank you for having me. This is a great opportunity. Um, pay It Forward, it's not a new concept, actually. Uh, most people know it from more recently in history from the movie. Right. The Pay, Pay It Forward, Forward movie, movie yeah. uh, which was based on the book by Katherine Ryan Hyde. And I think what happened is the book probably was not out <laughs> for maybe a couple of months before the movie hit. So yeah, they did. It was they, the same year. It was. Yeah, so, 2000. And that's what impacted me. That movie uh, made the difference for me in my life a long time ago. I shelved it uh, at the mm. time because I had three kids and like everybody else, it's like what, but I did walk out of that movie thinking what if, what if yeah. the world could be like that. It's true. I mean, it doesn't take a second to do something kind for someone else. And that's the whole thing about that movie. It really touched my heart, too. And I just watched it again over the holidays. And it's a great movie. If you haven't seen it, you'll want to watch Pay It Forward. But it's really about how a, a small boy had a, a contest in, or a, they had an assignment in school to do a random act. And his yes. was to bring random acts of kindness into the world. And it really has taken a, a, big, a big leap in our community. So how, how have you, what have you been doing with it? Well, it's interesting. Um, as I say, I didn't do anything with it for a long time, and about a year ago, I saw the words Pay It Forward pop up on a LinkedIn screen. Yeah. Um, and I was shocked, because I hadn't thought about it for a long time, and I thought, well, who's talking about that and why? And when I looked it up and went on to the internet and looked up Pay It Forward and the Pay It Forward experience, I found Charlie Johnson, yes. who is the founder of the Pay It Forward movement and he's also the executive director on the board of the Pitt Ford Foundation. I had the opportunity of meeting Charlie in the fall and uh, we did an a great interview and uh, you can watch that interview on Persistence Pays and it's a really good interview from how he started and now you know he, he I just had an email with him and he said it's gone to 124 countries yeah. and he you know it's just it's just spreading everywhere so he, he's doing amazing things. He actually quit his job to, to really uh, make this movement go through. He did. I haven't done that yet. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it certainly is taking up um, a lot of time, but it's a it's good time for me. It's, it is a an absolute passion. Um, so when I started, and after I'd called Charlie, I said, I want to do something big, and he said he'd heard that a few times before. <laughs> and I said, well, I think I really want to do something with it, so leave it with me. And he's, and he, he Charlie's all about doing what you want to do when you want to do it. You know, yeah. do your own thing, do it your own way. So I went actually in my own industry which is the promotional products industry yeah. and uh, th my the association had actually uh, contacted me to as, because I'm a, a marketing specialist that's what I do for a living and they contacted me to uh, engage their members that was actually the the mandate and I had just you know kind of finalized what I was doing with with paid for it and I said I think I have exactly what you're looking for yeah and after I told them about the movement and what was happening with it, they totally jumped on board. And that was the first 20,000 bracelet order that started the whole process. And we are now uh, just over 200,000 bracelets within that industry. That's and that's, awesome. in, that's in about six months. Right, and that's what we're wearing. Let's talk about the bracelet yeah. for a minute, as you can see on the screen. It says, pay it forward. And the whole thing is not to keep the bracelet. It's to, to give it away. And the whole thing is, and I've done this many times uh, since I've got my bracelets, and it's just a matter of, you know, you do something kind for someone and basically just say, you know, here, have a bracelet and pay it forward. And they, they're just like looking at you astonished. But it's an, it's an amazing feeling when you can actually do something nice for someone that doesn't have to cost any money. I mean, totally you know, we, we saw the, uh, the big hype about Tim Hortons and, and mm -hmm. how 224 cups of coffee were paid it forward in the line. Uh, just over the in, in the latter part of December, 
And I mean, that was amazing. And then it stopped when uh, one guy, that's you right. know, someone, he yeah. ordered four coffees, someone paid it forward, and then he didn't pay it forward back. But that's a lot of paying it forward. It is. And, you know, it doesn't have to cost you money. But I have done that. I have been a recipient, and I have actually done that in a Tim Hortons. And it's really cool to do because you drive away. The person doesn't even know who it was that, that did that for them. And it's a pretty amazing feeling. Well, and it's my favorite thing to do because it's easy through a yes. drive through um, And the person, you, you're there long enough just to see the reaction through the rearview mirror. And you know when you get to your window what the cost is going to be, so it's very easy to do. Yeah. Uh, there are lots of ways to pay it for it, as you say. We're talking simple, simple things like helping someone across the street or uh, opening a door for someone. These are all acts of kindness that society has kind of dropped off from a little bit. Yeah. So the idea is that everybody can do whatever they can do to the level they can do it. And when I first started talking to some of my friends about it, that's the interesting thing too about the bracelet. They said, yeah, that's great, let's, let's do acts of kindness, but let's do them for people in need. And I said, yeah, absolutely, we can do that. Yeah. But it, you can also take it the reverse way. So when I'm in a McDonald's line and I give the bracelet and the guy behind me is in a sports car with a sunroof and he's obviously not hurting and in need, but I may have incited him to do something bigger for someone else. Right. So the, to me, there is no designated recipient. I mean, everyone can do this. That, yeah. That's the beauty of Pay It Forward. Seven billion people in the world can do this. Being kind is something that all people can do, and there are no barriers whatsoever, not race, religion, politics, age, nothing. Yeah. So that's why it's been so great for me. But the bracelet itself is not necessary. It isn't. I mean, you can do acts of kindness without it. Right. But what happens with the bracelet that makes it different is what you're actually giving the person. So yes, you're doing your act of kindness for them, but I'll give you an example, uh, a homeless person who I bought uh, some soup for. They're just outside my drugstore. And I'd gone to the restaurant and brought them out some soup and I gave it to him and he said thank you and, and he, you know, that was nice, he said thank you and that was that. But then I took my bracelet off and handed it to him and I said, and all I want you to do is do something nice for somebody else and pay it forward. The reaction of that man to me was about a hundredfold to the soup in that I think I had empowered him, I had entrusted him yeah. with the ability to go out and do something kind for someone else. That moment actually changed my life because I realized that bracelet and why I'm so passionate about the pay it forward movement and the bracelet aspect of it, yeah. which is why I uh, created the school program, which we'll get to in a second, because the bracelet is empowering mm -hmm. and it and it allows and one eye point, contact. 1.7 million bracelets have gone worldwide. Yes. So that's an incredible amount. Now I want to get to your school program because I don't I want to touch on that and and tell tell us about that. Well, that's once I got involved and got the the corporate side going, um, my personal passion is a real real distaste for bullying in that I mean not that nobody everybody has that, but I feel it is such an unnecessary evil in our world. I just, and you know, right. that we had Amanda Todd and the things that have happened, and even the Sandy Hook, you know, uh, situation could have been worked back to be a child being bullied to start all this. So this, this is a real issue for me. And so uh, with my sister, we uh, co-created uh, the program called C2BK, which is cool to be kind. And we use C2BK as the texting acronym, hopefully, which is be the worldwide spread yep. and it's a school program uh, from preschool to university and realistically it's pay it forward for kids but it's there's an outline that's extremely vague and it's vague because we want each school and each community and each classroom to do it their way right so we don't tell them how to do it we explain what it's all about and then these kids can get together and do it and we've seen all kinds of great things we have a school that uh, celebrating their 50th anniversary and each child is doing 50 acts of kindness over the year that's incredible. So, yeah, so you can imagine the culture change in that school in June from the year before. It's, yeah. it's, going, to, it's going to create an entirely different environment. And a lot of people do random acts of kindness and aren't even aware that they're doing it. It's just natural totally. for them. But for kids, I think it's a great thing because it's really, they're not, they're not uh, it's not in their forefront to go and say, oh, I'm going to do this for you. So, you know, some kids, yes, but mo majority, I would say, it's not really there for them, especially if they're in the younger grade. So teaching them uh, how to pay it forward at an early age is an amazing thing. I think it's, an, well, it's a lifelong skill. Yeah. I think, and it also, I, it is the answer in my mind um, to anti-bullying because anti-bullying doesn't work well with a lot of kids because it's telling them again what not to what do. What not to do. And you know the kids hear this all day long, so they don't love it. The, this way, you're you're again empowering them to find ways to 
to improve their own environment. And that's, that's very motivating for a, a, a child, I think, or a high schooler or in university. Right. You're making moves of, on your own with your own ideas to make the world a better place. And, and how do people difference. find out about the school program? How have they found how out about How do they find out well, about Well, a lot of them, I just, as a matter of fact, I just, uh, before I got here, I got an email from a lady in Dublin, Ireland, who uh, has an all-boys school, and she's ordering bracelets uh, for me tomorrow. So the uh, schools would order the bracelets from you? Is that how it would work? Yeah, it's from, yes, from this, uh, on the Pay It Forward Experience site, okay, which is great. the PIFexperience.org, there's also a C2BK tab, and we are working with all schools that, that uh, come to us. We also have worked, we're working with youth organizations, um, we work for with the uh, community events, so it's not just schools, but it's this particular aspect of it is dedicated to children. Okay, great. Well, I think what you're doing is awesome, Terry. Thank you. And I want to thank you for coming in and paying it forward, showing what you're doing with Pay It Forward. And thank you. You know what you're doing is with all those kids, and, and really what we all do is is a great thing. So thank you for being here. Thank you. We're, we all want to change the world one act of kindness <laughs> at a time. <laughs> Absolutely. Thanks for being here, Terry. Thank you. Thanks. Today we're going to get in the Cable 14 vehicle and go around town and show how easy it is to pay it forward and to give little random acts of kindness. What I'll be doing is give, be giving out these pay it forward bracelets to those people that I'm paying it forward to so they can give this away and pay it forward to someone else. Let's go and have some fun. There you go. I'll give you two. You can wear one and pay it forward to someone else some, some other day. Can I get the door for you? Thank you very much. Wow, you have your hands full. Can I help you open your door of your car? Sure. There you go. Thank you so much. Sometimes all you need is a hug to make you feel better. I'm gonna go see if I can give this guy a hug. You look like you could use a hug today. It's cold. Let me give you a hug. <laughs> oh, thank you. Here, pay it forward to someone. Give someone else a hug. I definitely will do that. Great. Have a good day. You too. Bye now. about Pay It Forward today, and I've come and paid it forward as you are playing some beautiful music today for us. So tell me, how does Pay It Forward work for you? When someone drops some money into a, a real busker's uh, a case, they're paying it forward for other people to have it, and they give you kind of hope to keep on going uh, and that. Frankly, the majority of people will just ignore the stupid fool playing out in the cold, and that's their perfect right to do. But enough come by or have seen me someplace else and that, that you know, it's, it's usually not a waste of time. It's never a waste of time to, to work on your craft at something, so. Absolutely, it's not a waste of time for to spread some joy and light and music uh, on a cold, a cold winter day. Downtown sure needs that. So as you can see, it doesn't take much to do random acts of kindness. They don't have to cost money, and everyone is a recipient. When, when someone receives an act of kindness, it just makes everybody feel good. It makes you feel good, and it makes the other person feel good. And with a random act of kindness, you don't ever expect to get anything back, and that's the best part. So now in the studio, I'm happy to have Rachel, uh, Rachel Adema Haynes from Mohawk College, a nursing professor with me, and Mary Rose Skelly, who's a TV broadcasting and communication in the communication program. So thank you both for being here today and I'm excited to have you here because you are uh, 
You, Rachel, you have brought the Pay It Forward movement to Mohawk, and it's working really well. And I was at an event that you had uh, with Charlie Johnson, and that's the show I was talking about for people to watch on my website. So I want to talk to you about how it's ha what's happening in Mohawk, and, and how did you bring it into Mohawk? Um, I just brought it into Mohawk because I recognized the need that we need to care about each other. And I thought, I've got this whole army of students that we can do something yeah. and we can impact our community. We can bring caring into the school and kindness. So we started a Pay It Forward SOS group, which literally means help, SOS. Yes. And I wanted the students to use their classroom skills out in the community to help nonprofits so that if they have a need for something, we could send our students in and the students would benefit because they would learn to help and they would also learn to use their skills in the real world. That's great. And how have you, find, how have you found it's going in the school since the Pay It Forward movement came in? I find it's actually really good for my program specifically because I'm in my second year now and I think it was one of my first assignments we got uh, the chance to do a little news story about whatever we wanted. So me and my good friend Bailey, we did the Pay It Forward story and that's when I met Rachel and that was probably a year ago now. So awesome. I've just always had such interest in it and with the posters up and with the Pay It Forward Day every year, every semester, is it? Um, it's just been great. We've, and me and Bailey, have loved doing these stories as and part so of our assignments. And so what did you do for your first story? How did you, what did you do for that, your we first had a, assignment? We had a class, it was called our ENG News Stories. So we just were given the opportunity to put together a little package of anything we wanted, really. So uh, Bailey and I just put together the Pay It Forward story. We interviewed Rachel. I think we interviewed some students and got their pay it forward stories and things like that. Great, that and awesome. what, what, what is the best one that you heard? Oh, the best one I've heard. Well, I see, I see a lot of people doing this, the same thing with the Tim Hortons at school Well, they'll pay for the next person's order behind them. So we have a lot of Tim Hortons in the school, so I see that a lot. And even just opening the door, just, just little things like that, I find that's the things that people are telling me about. That's great. So what have you got planned? What have you got upcoming plans for Mohawk and Pay It Forward? Um, we've got so much that we want to <laughs> do that I can hardly, I mean, I, if I had 30 hours in a day, I probably, but we, I just want to get more students involved. I want to get out in the city. My ultimate goal is to get a billboard in the city. I think it would city. be awesome to have a pay it forward billboard. So if anybody knows, anybody with any pull that has an empty billboard that wants to say pay it forward, be sure to let us know. Yeah, that would be awesome because we have to be intentional about kindness. It's not enough, you know, as Canadians we're nice and we're polite, but I'm saying we need to intentionally go out there Find somebody that needs someone to lift their day up and go help them or do something kind. It's not enough just to be polite. We have to make somebody's day a better day. And I think the students learning that and modeling that, I mean, being a nurse, you're not in a nursing profession 20 years of your life that you caring just doesn't it, it becomes who you part are of, it becomes your soul part it, of your being it's my soul and yeah. so this movement it, it totally fits who I am and I feel like as part of my legacy I have to teach or model kindness to students because yeah. I have to do this now there's an actual pay it forward day which is March 21st so tell me a little bit about that well what we do is um, it's going to be the worldwide pay it forward day is the last Thursday in April but all of our students are gone sadly so I had to bump it up a month ahead so we do it the, the third Thursday in March and we go around and I'm I'm sending out kindness crews into the city to do all random acts of kindness whether it be going to the meters running around holding signs up with pay it forward so that people become intentional about it I mean we we need to do this. We need more kindness. We are technologically lost. Everybody is walking down the street with, with their, their phone, down. with their head down. And I'm like, look up, look at me. I want to smile at you. Yeah. I just had to pay it forward in the hospital um, this week where there was an older gentleman shuffling around uh, along and he looked up at me and I just gave him a big smile and he's like, do I know you? And I'm like, no, but do you need help? And he, he said no, and he walked up to me and he took my hand and he told me I was beautiful and he kissed me on the <laughs> cheek with his bristly, 
And I don't know who felt better, <laughs> me or him. That's but right. it, was a, it was a beautiful moment. And that's the simplicity of pay it forward. It doesn't take much. Just a smile to people. So get off your phones and look at people. Yeah. Just smile at them. I mean, it, it, you, you see it everywhere. People are always looking down, whether they're walking. I, I can't walk and be on my phone at the same time myself. <laughs> I can't can, either. A lot of people can walk, and uh, they're on their phone all the time. So it really takes out the personal the personal part of our life. Well, and at school, too, like students are very, into my, very much into technology, which is great, but I'm saying let's put it down for a few minutes and just look at each other and enjoy each other. At Mohawk, I've started a push for face-to-face uh, -face Fridays where no emails. Call Great. people up and tell them or go to their office or their cubicle and say, hey, let's get a coffee and let's let's like lock arms <laughs> and, you know, forge together and lift each other up and have some time just face-to-face -face again yeah. because I'm sick of emails. Yeah. I don't know about you, but... Absolutely. Mary Rose, how, how do you feel about that? I mean, you're the generation that's <laughs> got the phone, you know, attached yeah. all, at all times. How do you feel about... Uh, do you think that the personal side of our life is gone because we're so much connected to our, our cell phones? I do see that. It's definitely... It's almost a clutch now. Everybody's got a phone. Everyone's using technology. But I think maybe that's a good I, a good way to incorporate that, especially since I'm looking to work into media. So, like using the TVs that are up in the school to advertise for the Pay It Forward. Yes. We want to film commercials that can play through the school because that'll catch people's eyes. Because just to be able to use the technology maybe yeah. to get it out there too. Well, that's good. And I mean, the more it's promoted, the more that you talk about, the more you actually are paying it forward yourself, people yeah. will, will notice it and they'll want to do something kind for someone else. So I think that's a great way to do it is through, through your communication program. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, and you know, you're right. A, and a smile is a random act of kindness. I don't know whether you know that, but a <laughs> smile is a random act of kindness because when you smile at someone, they can't help but smile back. And my kids used to have, I mean, my kids are adults now, but they used to have a bus driver that was like so mean all the time. Her face was like, like, oh, my poor little grade one is getting on the bus and the bus driver looks so mean. And every morning I would just smile at her. And, you know, by the time she was starting to drive up to our court, she'd just be smiling all the time. Because <laughs> well, like, she, she was scary to me, so I can't imagine to a grade one person. So a smile can say a thousand words. And the people that are the toughest to get through, they're the ones that probably need it the most. So you need to just be persistent with persistent That's with right. those people because yeah. eventually you'll get them. Yeah. And I'm a very um, I don't take no for an answer. And if someone doesn't smile at me, it just makes me more determined. <laughs> I'm going to make them smile if it takes that's me a what, year. Yeah. And that's right? my, that was what happened with me with the bus driver. But, you know, we can use random acts of kindness in our everyday life, but you can use it at home too. And mm -hmm. one thing that uh, for, you know, that I used for when I, my kids were growing up is I used to put 10 pennies in my left pocket. And by the end of the day, I had to transfer them over to my right pocket by doing 10 kind things or saying 10 kind things to my family. Because mm -hmm. as a young mom, you're, well, when I was a young mom, you're always saying no to your kids or don't do this or don't do that. So I always wanted to do something to put a po to uh, put positive into their life. So the 10 penny rule, I mean, 10 might be too, too out there for people to know that uh, you can't do 10 random acts of kindness, but even start with one. Well, that's why thing. I love this Cool to be Kind uh, program that Terry's put out, too, because every morning I tell my children, I'm like, don't forget to pay it forward. And, you know, when they come home from school, they tell me what they did. They're like, Mommy, I paid it forward today. I held the door open for teacher. Or, you know, I, I helped get somebody's lunch out. Or, you know, so they are being intentional, too, about talking about it. Yeah, for sure. And, and the more intention that you have, and I think pay it forward is all about intention. Exactly. Absolutely. All we, about intention. We have to be intentional. And that's why I love working with students like Mary Rose because they get excited about it. <laughs> They're Not all of them do, but then when I get a group of students like I have Mary Rose and Bailey, they are excited about it and they are yeah. going to do some kindness commercials and we're going to get them on the monitors at school yeah. so that it's a visual because most of us are visual. So if we see acts of kindness on a monitor, it kind of helps us realize that, yeah, we need to be kind. And you know what? Small acts of kindness, when multiplied by millions of people, can transform the world. And as the students are doing it, and you know what? You really are. Your generation will transform mm -hmm. the world. Yeah, I, I believe we have the, the ability to do that, for sure. That's awesome. <laughs> and, and, and we all do. We all have that ability. Yeah. So thanks for being here. And remember, 
paying it forward is a ran and random acts of kindness or something that you should really put into your day and you'll feel great that you did. Thanks for joining and we'll see you next time. <laughs>